Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited is the largest bank in the world by total assets and market capitalization. It is one of China's big four state-owned commercial banks. It was founded as a limited company on January 1, 1984. As of March 2010, it had assets of RMB 12.55 trillion, with over 18,000 outlets including 106 overseas branches and agents globally. In 2013, it ranked number one on Forbes Global 2000 list of world's biggest public companies, and number one in the banker's top 1,000 World Bank's ranking, the first time ever for a Chinese bank, remaining top in 2014. History, 1999 ICBC opened a branch in Luxembourg which became the European headquarters of the bank in 2011. ICBC SA operates a network covering branches in major European cities, namely Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, Milan, Madrid, Barcelona, Warsaw and Lisbon. 2006, the bank's Hong Kong operations are listed under the name ICBC Asia. It has purchased the Hong Kong subsidiary of Fortis Bank and rebranded it under its own name on October 10, 2005. 2006, in the run-up to its planned initial public offering, on April 28, 2006, three strategic investors injected US$3.7 billion US dollars into ICBCA, Goldman Sachs purchased a 5.75% stake for US$2.6 billion, US dollars, the largest sum Goldman Sachs has ever invested, Dresdner Bank invested US$1 billion. US American Express invested US$200 million. US World's largest IPO. ICBC was simultaneously listed on both the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and Shanghai Stock Exchange on October 27, 2006. It was the world's largest IPO at that time valued at US$21.9 billion. US surpassing the previous record $18.4 billion US dollars IPO by Japan's NTT Dukomo in 1998. In 2010, AgBank broke ICBC's IPO record when it raised $22.1 billion. China's largest commercial bank was also the first company to debut simultaneously on both the Hong Kong and Shanghai stock exchanges. ICBC raised at least US$14 billion US dollars in Hong Kong and another US$5.1 billion US dollars in Shanghai. Due to heavy subscriptions, the Grenchu placements were exercised and ICBC's take rose to US$21.9 billion, US dollars, divided in US$16 billion US dollars in Hong Kong and US$5.9 billion US dollars in Shanghai. Following the global offering, the free float of shares was 22.14% of the market capitalization. At the end of its first day of trading, the bank's shares closed up almost 15% at 3 Hong Kong dollars and 52 cents in Hong Kong, compared with the listing price of 3 Hong Kong dollars and 7 cents, which was set at the top of the indicative range due to the strong demand. According to Bloomberg, ICBC's market capitalization at the end of trade based on its Hong Kong shares was US$156.3 billion, US dollars, making its equity the world's fifth highest among banks, just behind JP Morgan Chase. Meanwhile, ICBC's Shanghai listed A shares recorded more modest gains and ended up 5.1% from the offering price of RMB 3.12. 2008, in August 2008, ICBC became the second Chinese bank since 1991 to gain federal approval to establish a branch in New York City. At the 2008 ALB China Law Awards, ICBC was crowned, in-house of the year, Banking and Financial Services in-house Team of the Year, in-house of the year, China in-house Team of the Year, 2010, in 2010. ICBC loaned $400 million towards the completion of the Jibe 3 Dam in Ethiopia. Groups that oppose the dam such as International Rivers and Survival International have complained about or have written to ICBC against the dam's funding. 2013, during the 2013 Korean crisis, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China halted business with a North Korean bank accused by the United States of financing Pyongyang's missile and nuclear programs. It was announced at the end of July 2013 that South Africa Euro unregistered trademark S Standard Bank was in talks to sell its markets business in London to the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China for more than $500 million. Basic figures, as of 2006, 
ICBC has 2.5 million corporate customers and 150 million individual customers. In 2005, net profit was up 12.4% to RMB 33.7 billion, and the total loan balance was RMB 3,289.5 billion. Total liabilities are RMB 6,196.2 billion, up 11.2%. Delinquent or non-performing loans total RMB 154.4 billion, a significant reduction although the figures are widely regarded as being somewhat higher than officially stated. It is an NPL ratio of 4.69% and a capital adequacy ratio of 9.89%. As of June 29, 2009, ICBC is ranked the 17th largest bank in the world by assets and 8th in the world by Tier 1 capital. In July 2007 it was ranked 30th in the world in terms of revenue. Loans by industry, in millions of Chinese RMB in 2005, manufacturing 662,376, 20.1%, transportation, storage, postage and telecommunications, 367,371, 11.2%, power, gas and water. 281,179, 8.6%, retail and wholesale, catering, 265,906, 8.1%, property development, 194,024, 5.9%, social service organization, 103,070, 3.1%, construction, 89,666, 2.7%, other industries, 313,804, 9.5%, discounted bills, 392,717, 11.9%, personal loans, 515,042, 15.7%, overseas business, 104,398, 3.2%, total, 3,289,553, Loan collateral, secured by mortgages, 34.1%, secured by other collateral, 22.1%. Guaranteed loans, 23.3%, unsecured loans, 20.5%, non-performing loans, at the end of 2004, 19.1% of ICBC's portfolio consisted of non-performing loans. In order to clean up ICBC's balance sheet and prepare it for overseas listing, the Chinese government orchestrated a series of capital injections, asset transfers, and government-subsidized bad loan disposals that eventually cost more than 162 billion US dollars. This included an approval for a cash injection of 15 billion US dollars on April 28, 2005. The Beijing-based state company, China Huarong helped ICBC dispose of its bad loans. As the 2005 annual report records, just under 5% of loans are classified as non-performing, in comparison with the majority of Western banks who have lower NPL ratios. Environmental Policy and Record In 2008 ICBC was the first Chinese bank to adopt the Equator Principles, an international set of social and environmental standards for financial institutions launched in 2003. It has also adopted the Green Credit Policy launched in 2007 by the Chinese Ministry of Environmental Protection. International environmental groups have criticized ICBC for failing to adhere to its social environmental standards and of being hypocritical, because ICBC is involved in the financing of the controversial Jildul Jibe 3 Dam in Ethiopia. See also List of Asset Management Companies of the People's Republic of China, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, References External links, English, Financial Reports, Chinese, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, English, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China